certain epilepsy po patient populations that are more at risk or suffer more because of the COVID pandemic and the restrictions that there are in place currently right now? That's a very good question. So the, uh, the one obvious segment of the epilepsy population are the, uh, are the, uh, uh, the uh, epilepsy uh, patients or patients with epilepsy who do have developmental uh, abnormalities uh, who are more susceptible to having intercurrent infections and uh, other diseases. So they have greater comorbidity and uh, with that uh, potential for impact. Um, the, uh, uh, th that sort of, uh, in terms of uh, potential uh, impact of the infection itself, uh, the, for the very same population, it may make it much harder being in confined indoors and not having outlet uh, because they do not have the outlet for energy of that many of us have doing things that we can do indoors thinking doing things on computer reading engaging in conversations offsetting the fact that we can't be physically active for them uh much of the energy that uh, and a life being has is discharged through physical activity and that physical activity is now constrained so it's more difficult and you may have sort of sometimes behavioral outbursts and such like uh, so uh, both uh, because of increased potential for susceptibility to the virus and uh, because of this, it's particularly difficult for this patient population. Uh, epilepsy, as you know, is associated with comorbidities. Comorbidities include depression, anxiety, uh, with a large proportion of patients with epilepsy, particularly uh, patients with uncontrolled epilepsy. So for those patients to be confined at home uh, can also be a challenge. And you hear the stories of patients becoming more depressed and more anxious. Um, in my limited experience, those stories have not been overwhelmed, which is good. But you do hear them. On the other hand, you also hear the other. Uh, so you've got uh, the person, uh, you've got the 31-year-old uh, 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 person who sort of gets up at uh, 5 a.m. to be at work uh, at uh, 6.30, uh, she works late, uh, uh, she can't do everything, she's always stressed out, she's sleep deprived and she sees this. And now since uh, March she's been at home, she gets up when she pleases, she does the work uh, at home, uh, uh, her schedule, she's more relaxed and life is better and seizures may be better. So you hear, you hear that also. Um, and beyond that, of course, the, the, uh, the patients with seizures that are not controlled that are at risk for uh, hospitalizations, those, uh, uh, those, those patients carry a particular risk of greater exposure to the virus.